Are you struggling to get more clients in a personal training gym? Well, this video could be for you. Thanks for joining me on How to Be a PT, episode two. In this video, I'm gonna be talking a lot about how to get more personal training clients from your gym. Before I go any further with the video, I just wanna quickly say that this video is going to be more targeted towards people just starting out in the fitness industry as a personal trainer. Maybe you're a fit coach or your gym staff of some other nature and you're just looking or thinking about getting into personal training but you're not feeling too confident or maybe you've just started in personal training, maybe you've even been doing a bit of personal training for six months to a year but you've just come to a bit of a standstill in being able to extract more clients from the gym. In this video I'm going to be covering a few of the points that have really helped me in the past to build my client base to what I deem to be a successful level as well as some methods that are used to help other colleagues and co-workers way I've coached them in order for them to get more clients as well. So the first topic that I want to talk about guys is just simply being present in the gym altogether. Guys, you would not be surprised. For some reason I've worked with a lot of PTs for short periods of time where they think that they can just come into the gym three, four hours a week and then they complain because they're not getting any work after three to four months and they have to end up leaving and they think that it's a rubbish gym. If you're not there guys, you're not going to get the leads. Like I spoke about in the first video on how to be a PT, it's really important that you do treat personal training if you're serious about getting clients like a full-time job. You need to be there, guys, as much as possible. If you've got work to do on the computer, sit in the cafe or sit in the office, sit in the lounge area, just be there. If you're there and you're getting leads coming into the gym, whether it be through front of house, your line manager, the general manager through sales, they're automatically gonna to go to the closest PT that can help them to deliver a good service. If that's you, then you're going to potentially get that job. I cannot stress how many clients I got simply because I was willing to just do all my work and spend a majority of my time at the gym when I was working there. That's point number one, guys, really important. Just be there in the space. The second point that I wanna talk about, guys, is training and training at peak times. Peak times in most commercial gyms can be around maybe 6 a.m. in the morning to around 9 to 10 a.m. and then 5.30 to 6 p.m. in the evening to around maybe 8.30 to 9 p.m. There are also going to be a lot of people and a lot of clients that are training in the middle of the day, sort of entrepreneurs and other people with their own businesses or people that can work from home. And it's really important to get an understanding of where the peak times are around your gym and make sure you're training regularly at those times, guys. If you're a personal trainer, in my opinion, especially if you're just starting off in the industry, you should be aiming to be training at least four to six times a week for at least an hour at a time in that gym space. And practice your niche, guys. If you're a bodybuilder, do bodybuilding exercises. It's going to appeal to your bodybuilding type of client and you're gonna get that type of client. If you enjoy injury and rehabilitation, flexibility and mobility, make sure you include a lot of that in your own sessions. Practice what you preach and then you will get the right clientele. And then you will continue building your niche and that's going to be very good for your career moving forward. So it's really important to be present training in the gym to make sure that the clients can see you visibly training. And again, clients might be watching you for months at a time or even years at a time. I've had clients before that have come up to me and said, oh yeah, look, I've been watching you for a year and you, I really like what you're doing with this guy and he seems to have an injury or something like that. And they just say, how about we give this a go? And I just say, well, awesome. So that does happen, guys, if you're new to the industry. I'm sure a lot of you older PTs with a little bit more experience in the industry can vouch for me as well. So the next point I wanna talk about, guys, is really important. It's get to know the staff that are working at your gym and get friendly with them. I'm not saying that you have to love everyone at the gym. It's not always possible, and actually it's quite rare in a workplace for you to get along with everyone. But when you're a personal trainer in a gym, it is in your best interest to get really friendly with all the staff. I'm talking about front of house, I'm talking about sales, I'm talking about managers, your general manager, your line manager, even the cleaners or the cafe staff. Think about it guys, when new members are coming into the gym, they're coming in for an experience, they're building small relationships with all these different staff members. What do you think is gonna happen when a member asks one of these staff members for a PT recommendation. They're going to recommend the PT that they like the most. And if that person is you, then you're going to potentially get that client if you can execute. 
Now, another point that kind of leads on from that last point is train staff members regularly, guys. Pick a few different staff members. Maybe it could be your GM. You could organize a deal where you train him once a week for free. Okay, it is a great advertisement for your business. Same thing with front of house, and you could also maybe try and see if your line manager wants to train with you guys. Think about it, guys. If members are seeing you training with these affluent characters in the gym, they're going to be thinking, oh wow, the GM's training with this person, and I'm thinking about doing PT. You know what, maybe I will just go up and get the courage and ask that person if I can get a bit of PT started. It's a no-brainer if you think about it, guys. So get friendly with the different types of staff, okay, and train them regularly. You should be aiming to try and train staff members up to one to two times a week to get started, and maybe even more depending on how well that goes for you, okay? So the next point I wanna talk about, guys, is delivering tasters, okay? So for too much of the time, I just don't see enough tasters being delivered in a gym by certain new trainers that are coming on board and complaining about not getting clients. You have to be delivering a good amount of tasters per week. I personally think that if you've got a full time to be able to apply to the job, like a 40 hour full time job, you should be doing at least 20 tasters a week. Okay, And the length of these tasters should be, in my opinion, no longer than 30 to 45 minutes, just to save you time from time wasters and people like that. Okay, which will come. I understand that you might be thinking that, oh, but I do a lot of tasters and I get a lot of time wasters. Unfortunately, time wasters are going to be in every gym, okay? And unfortunately, if you want to work in the workspace of personal training in a gym, you're going to have to get used to time wasters. But I can tell you, within those time wasters, there are going to be people that are going to respect your time, take you very seriously, and they will definitely hire you if you're able to sell them your service. So guys, again, as I said, about 20 to 30 tasters per week minimum, I think if you're just starting out in the gym to really get your base off to a flying start. The next point I want to talk about, guys, is your existing client base. If you do have an existing client base, offer them incentives to promote you to other members. If there is one member at a gym, they are likely to know another member at a gym, whether that be a, a wife or a husband or maybe even a child or a friend. Okay, offer them, them an incentive. Something I used to do is say, look, if you're able to secure me a new client for this month, I'll give you one complimentary session. Now, sometimes sessions can be in excess of 40, 60, 70, or even in excess of 100 pounds, guys. That is going to be a lot of value added to that particular client. And not only that, but that existing client, you are gonna really, really see a much higher level of retention, which I'll talk about in another video completely, from that client and a really good level of loyalty and you're gonna develop some great rapport. So it really is a nice symbiosis, a nice win-win situation for everyone, guys. Okay, so guys, that's all I wanted to talk about in today's video about how to get more personal training clients. I'm sure there are many other ways that work for many other PTs, and if there, there are some other ways that I haven't covered in this video, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you have any comments at all or questions for me personally, please leave them in the comments below. Or if you want me to make a video on anything else specifically fitness or personal training related, please pop it in the comments section and I can make a short video on that as well. If you enjoyed the video, please like the video, give it, a, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and please share this video if you did enjoy it with maybe some other people or other clients or anyone else that you feel might be able to get some value from this video. Hope you enjoyed the video today, guys, and hopefully see you in the next video, episode three. Cheers.